Hello everyone, welcome to my channel Annamika Zedu Space and today we will start a very interesting topic on class 5 first chapter that is more about plants. Okay, but in this video we will study about two important parts that is first reproduction through seeds and the second part is parts of a seed. So let's begin and let's get started. So friends, have you ever visited a garden? So whenever you visit a garden, we often see same type of plant around us. Okay, now do visit a garden today's evening and find out so many plants. Now what makes the plant to increase in number? Why there are so many enormous type of same kind of plant? The process which has in plant to increase in number is reproduction. Okay. Now what is reproduction? Reproduction is a biological process by which and living organisms, for example, the animals, the plants, the birds, the insect, each and every living organisms present in the living world increases in number that is they produce their own kind or in simple words they give birth to their young ones okay so reproduction is a process by which living organisms produce more of their kind i hope it is clear to you all okay now moving to the next topic now when you visit a garden you always find two types of plants one is flowering plant that is the plants which possesses flower in it which have flowers in it okay for example the rose plant the jasmine plant the hibiscus plant and the tulip plant so many flowering plants are there in our garden which makes our garden beautiful okay it looks a colorful with all the flowering plants in the garden now there were also some non-flowering plant that is the plants which does not have flower in them okay as for example they are mosses and these type of plants were appeared in the earth this type of plants appeared in the earth 440 millions of years ago can you even imagine 440 millions of years ago so between this flower plants and non flowering plants there was more ferns there was uh, spores which doesn't have so many flowers in them but they are between this flowering and non flowering plants okay moving ahead now here we will study about reproduction from seeds now plants can reproduce in many ways like plant can reproduce from leaves from roots from steam and from spores okay so new one is spore which you don't know i think so here in this video particularly we will study about the reproduction from seeds now let's see what are the parts of seed now most plants grow from seed and plants produces many seeds but only a few in number grow into a new plant okay the parts of seed now seed has three main parts how many parts three main parts first is seed coat second is cotyledon third is embryo okay so let's begin to study it with the help of a picture so here you can see two pictures mentioning seed now this green part is known as the cotyledon and this black lining along my pointer as you can see is known as the seed coat okay this black lining or here you can see the brown lining or the maroon lining you can see this is known as the seed coat and this creamy part is the cotyledon now what is the function of the cotyledon and what are cotyledon cotyledons are the seed leaves okay now if this one is my hand and this one is the seed coat or the outer covering of the seed now so the this inner part will be the cotyledon okay now i hope it is clear to you all now what does this cotyledons do the cotyledons store food for the baby plant now where is the baby plant the baby plant is the embryo as you can see marked in the picture okay here is the baby plant this one okay now i hope it is clear to you all the end of the video in the next video we will study about seed germination okay now we will study about different stages of seed germination and what are the processes by which a seed grows into a big plant so if you like this video then please do turn the black thumb blue and also comment how is my video and please do like share and subscribe to my channel thanks for watching Bye-bye.